Thank you for joining this quick implementation and troubleshooting screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. This video will explain the Finder Create API, including troubleshooting. We'll use out of the box implementations. Customizations of the Finder Create API are covered in our documentation. The Finder Create API is a feature of Live Agent, and it's used for associating new and existing records with a live chat transcript record. A live chat transcript record is created with every chat session, even chats that are missed or abandoned. Customers can use the Finder Create API to track chat issues through case records, keep track of contacts or accounts, or integrate live chat transcript records with custom objects. The Finder Create API uses specific parts of the Chazador init post body to determine which objects and fields to use for the process. The Finder Create API will first attempt to find a record based on the chat data, and if no record is found, it can create a record and automatically associate it with the live chat transcript record. The Finder Create API can be difficult to troubleshoot, since it does not leave behind logs or generate error messages. This is intentional to prevent the process from interrupting the live agent service. The most common modes of failure of the Finder Create API include failure to create a record with the specified field values. Multiple records are returned with the specified field values, and a target object is not enabled with the Finder Create API. Before we begin troubleshooting, let's examine the basic structure of a Finder Create request. For this example, we will be using an out of the box configuration for contacts and cases, which is generated using the embedded services for web pre chat form. These fields are the ones that will appear on the default pre chat form, with the data type respecting the field configuration. The easiest way to test your chat deployments is to use a blank Visual Force page. You can paste the default code snippet in between the two Apex page tags that appear when you create a new Visual Force page. Let's review the outbound payload. You'll want to open your browser network console, which will allow you to inspect the API calls made by the chat deployment. In Google Chrome, press the F12 key and select the network tab. With the network tab open, let's submit the pre-check form with some sample data. you'll see a network request called Chazit or init in the console. Select the request, then select the payload tab. The request we're most interested in is the pre-chat entities object. Both pre-chat details and pre-chat entities are important to the Finder Create API. Pre-chat details is an object that contains the values provided by the chat visitor in the pre-chat form. Pre-chat entities is an object that defines how those values should be used to find or create records in Salesforce. This description shows how we can read the default object parameters that we captured in the request. We can see in the contact entity that do find is set to true for all field values. We can determine the precise composition of the SQL query by examining the isExactMatch parameter. If true, we will use strict string matches for our field values. If false, we will use fuzzy matches. The case entity has no fields with doFind set to true, so we will always try and create the record without looking for an existing one. We can run these queries in a developer console or through the API to determine the behavior for a specific set of pre-chat parameters. The number of results that get returned tells us what will happen when the chat is accepted. If no results are returned, we will attempt to create the contact record. If one result is returned, that record will be associated with a chat transcript. If more than one record is returned, then no contact will be associated with the chat. Instead, a subtab will open showing all of the matches based on that query. If no records were returned by the query, but the chat has no new record associated with it, then that means that the record creation process has failed. Keep in mind that a new record created using the Find or Create API will trigger all of the automations defined for that object, including flows, apex, and workflow rules. Thoroughly test your processes to ensure that a record can be successfully created with the set of values that would be provided in the pre-chat form. Duplicate rules will also be considered on record creation. It's possible that a record will not be located by the Find or Create API, but the duplicate matching rules may match the record. In these cases, you can allow the Find or Create API to create the record by unchecking the Alert option in the Actions section. You may also need to ensure that your object is accessible by the Find or Create API. 
you can select individual entities in chat settings or leave the allow list blank to permit all entities. The Finder Create API is very flexible beyond the default configurations defined by the standard pre-chat form. You can define Finder Create field mappings for any object, including custom objects. You can also define special pre-chat form values that are hard-coded or populated by other JavaScript functions. Customizing the code snippet for additional objects is beyond the scope of this presentation, so please refer to the developer documentation. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.